Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce Yokogawa's AQ1210 series of OTDR. There are six modules of AQ1210 series. Among them, there are four types applicable to PON network. All of them support online testing function. It's with stated features inside. Today we are going to introduce a three variance OTDR AQ1216F which contains variants of 1310, 1550, and 1650 nm. Its operation is compatible with other AQ1210 series modules. Let's take a look at how to use this product. First, we press the power button to turn on the instrument. Yokogawa OTDR has the function of quick starting up. The starting time is no more than 10 seconds. The My menu of OTDR is displayed after starting up. The AQ1210 series not only has the basic function of OTDR test, but also has the SMT function of a Smart Mapper, which displays the event point in the graph. The multifiber project function is suitable for an optical cable testing and the trace data management. In addition, there are light source, power meter, visible light source, and many other options. The device is installed a capacitive touch screen that supports multi-touch operation. When we need to make a feature selection, in addition to use traditional rulers and the buttons to make the selection, we can also directly click on the screen. For example, today we are going to introduce the basic operation of this product. So let's click on OTD here to enter the test interface. At the top of screen is the grid area, which is the chest area of the measurement results. And at the bottom of the screen is the setting condition display and the quick setting area for the measurement. The function button area is on the right side of the screen. When we need to work, we can directly click here to set the measurement parameters. We have just introduced its basic three-wavelength test function. For example, here we choose the wavelength of 15-15mm. And for the range, we can choose auto or choose a suitable range according to our own requirements. Here, we recommend that the current range be 1.5 to 2 times the length of actual link to be tested. Here, we choose 2 kilometers. In addition to setting here, you can also click Setup to enter the detail setting interface. We just set the variance, distance range, and the average time, pathways, and the other parameters can be set here. After the setting is completed, you can click close or directly click AVG button to start the measurement. So this is the trace that I got after we made the measurements. A normal trace would be like a line like this, where the overall trend is downward. On this trace are the following events that we need to focus on. At the end of this trace, we can see there is a reflection peak. After the reflection peak, the curve falls into the noise. This means that the reflection peak corresponds to the end of current link. And before the end, there is a lower reflection peak and a lower step. In these different events, the highest reflection peak means that there is a connector or a code connector at this point in the link. This optical fibers has the case of the end phase coupling. The downward step means that the optical fiber is fused here, or the optical fiber microbending occurs. When the measurement is complete, you can click on the event analysis. This gives you the event table that we have already introduced.
the location of the reflection peak that I had just introduced to you, the position of the down steps are all shown in the event table. The distance, loss, average loss, etc. What we have just shown you is the trees that we got when we tested it at 15-15 nanometer. Previously, I introduced that this AQ1216F supports the pound network test with the wavelength of 16-15 nanometer. Here is the trace that we measured with the 16-15 nanometer, measured with a 1 by 16 optical splitter. We can see that there is a 1 by 16 splitter and the loss is very big. However, the results after the measurement are still very good. The attenuation that zone is not big. After the split, the chase is still very smooth. Once the measurement is completed, we click on the event analysis. At this point, we can see where the split is marked directly for us in the event table. The event table is the split and the end of the fiber is shown as a reflection peak. Above is the basic operation of aq 16 f and the analysis of the typical events. We welcome you to pay attention to your Discover's official website for more information. Thank you for your watching.